morning everyone it is so nice outside we had about a week of cooler weather it was kind of chilly when you get used to 90 95 degrees around here and we thought for sure fall was here and it was going to get cold all the time but it's warmed right back up so I don't know what happened to fall. Maybe it just decided not to show up yet. Cause it's definitely been nice out. You guys ready to eat? Ah, uh ah, -uh, get your faces out of there. <laughs> All right, come on turkeys. Come on, turkeys. They know where to go when it's time to eat. Oh my gosh, there's so many birds out here. Ah, oh, stupid chickens. Get out of there. Come on, get out. Get out, get out, get out. There you go. Good morning, are you hungry? Everybody's hungry this morning. Chicks over there are hungry. Here they come. You guys ready? All right, well, you know, if you run under my feet, I can't walk, which means I can't get to your feed. Good morning, Ruby. All right. So we're using an all flock pellet since we have the turkeys and the chickens out here. It's too difficult to give them different food. So we're using an all flock. Seems to be working pretty good. Everybody seems to be happy with it. Other than the fact we're not getting many eggs. Uh oh, what did I do with the scoop? We're only getting two to three eggs a day right now for some reason. Get out of there. No, 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 no. All right. Morning, chicks. Everybody seems to be okay this morning. Get in there. Get, get, get in there. I can't feed you if you leave. Come on. Oh. I left the scoop in here. Whoops. Oh, dang it. Spilled it on the ground. These meat birds. I think they're starving all the time. Well, let me close the cover. Watch out. Back up. Back, back, back. Uh -huh. Here, let me close it. <laughs> All right. And one more over here. What are you doing over there? That one looks like it's got some bloodiest poop. I don't know what's going on. Some of these meat birds, they're just not as healthy as all the ones we've done in the past. I don't know what's going on with them. It's the same feed, same water. 
speaking of water, I forgot to clean that out. There you go. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with this batch of meat birds. They're the Jumbo Cornish Cross from McMurray Hatchery. We've always had, had pretty good success. I think we've only lost one in the past. And so far now we've lost two of them this time around. One had a severe prolapse and I don't remember what happened to the first one. Oh, the first one I think is the one that jumped out of the chick house. I opened the door and it jumped out and landed on the ground. And then a few days later, we found one wasn't doing very well. So I brought it inside, put it next to food and water. It drank quite a bit, but it ended up dying within a couple of hours. So, but now it looks like there's another one that got some bloody stool. So I don't know what's going on. Hey rabbits, you ready to eat? Broccoli that we planted in all these rows, there's a few of them up. I don't think we put enough compost or enough manure on there because they're just not growing. Very disappointed in our ground. Well, today's the day. I had made a batch of Tabasco sauce with these Tabasco peppers, and Eddie absolutely loves it. So, today we're gonna make some more Tabasco sauce. It's a very simple process, but the first thing we have to do is pick all these peppers. And there is a bunch of them. Of course, we only want the red ones, so. But there's a bunch of them, so we better get started. All right, these things are so easy to pick. They just pop right off.
that should be enough for a nice batch of Tabasco sauce. And as you can see, the plant is still absolutely loaded with peppers. Let's go down to the kitchen and make some sauce. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. Very first thing we want to do is put on some rubber gloves. While I was picking these peppers, I got some pepper juices on my finger and it's kind of burning right now. So that just reminded me to always wear gloves when messing with hot peppers. And we bought these gloves just for this reason, because I hate getting hot pepper juices on my hands and then you're just in pain all day and it's no fun. Okay, so I've washed the peppers and I measured them and I have one pound here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pop the tops off of any that still had the tops on them. So we're going to go through and make sure we didn't accidentally get any bad ones and take the tops off. All right. We've got all the stems taken off, all the bad ones taken out. There was just two that I had missed when I did it. Okay, so one pound of peppers. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop these up in the food processor. All right, so we're gonna chop these up. You could do this by hand if you don't have a food processor. You just want a quick chop. You don't want to puree them at this point. All right, we're gonna put these into this pot. Preferably without getting them all over the place. Okay, now to our pot of peppers, we're gonna add two cups of distilled white vinegar. That was about all the vinegar I had. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of salt. Okay, now we're gonna put this on the stove and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Okay, so we're gonna bring this to a boil. And when you're doing this, when you're heating up the peppers, you don't wanna stand right over the pot because it will definitely clear your sinuses and it can be very uncomfortable. So we've mixed in the salt pretty good and we're just gonna bring this up to a boil. Get down, get out of there, get, get down. Oh, turkey's in the spice bed. Get down. Get. Foolish turkeys. Okay. Our peppers are boiling. So we're going to set a timer for five minutes. Actually, we're going to turn it down to medium. And we're going to set a timer for five minutes. Now you want to let this simmer for five minutes but you want to stir it every now and then just to make sure your peppers aren't sticking to the bottom and burning. We wouldn't want a burnt flavor in our Tabasco sauce. All right, we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, so I actually had to open the front door and turn the fan on because the smell was getting quite strong and it started to um, tingle my nose a bit. So you definitely want to keep an airflow when you're doing this, unless you just absolutely love hot sauce so I did and I also did I had to turn the heat down to low my stove gets very hot so a simmer on my stove is on low okay the timer has gone off so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna shut this off and we're gonna let it cool once this is totally cool 
then we will finish it up. But we don't want to do any more to it while it's hot because if you if you were to puree this or anything while it's hot, it could make the sauce a lot runnier or a lot more watery than what you want it to be. So we're going to let it totally cool before we do any more to it. So we're just going to set it over here off of the heat and we will be back once it cools down. Okay, so our peppers have totally cooled now. So we're going to put them back in the food processor and blend them up really good. You want to get all the seeds and the skins and everything because that's where the heat comes from. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. All right, now we're gonna pour the pepper sauce into a jar. I have a jar here and I put today's date on the lid so I remember when I did this. not to splash it on your skin because it does burn now I bought I ordered some pepper sauce jars off of the internet I found them on Amazon and I ordered 24 jars. So when this is all done, I'm gonna put it in the jars. The jars come with lids and they come with those little tops that make it so only a little bit comes out at a time. They also come with um, the sealing paper. So you, you put the seal plastic on there and then you dunk it into hot water and it will seal it up tight so that you know that that bottle hasn't been opened and used yet. So I will put a link in the description to the bottles that I ordered in case you want to make some too. But now what we do with this is we just put it in the refrigerator for two weeks. After two weeks you can taste it and see if it is to your liking. See if you want it hotter. Now I'm not going to taste it because I don't like pepper sauce but Eddie will. Once this is to the flavor, the heat that you want, then you will just strain this into your jar. So you'll just take a small colander like this one here and you'll pour it through there to strain out all the seeds and the skin and all the pulp. And then you can bottle it up or put it in a jar or whatever you want to do with it from that point. But now it just goes in the refrigerator for two weeks. Time to collect the eggs, if there are any. I don't know what's going on. We've got 10 laying hens and we only get three to four eggs a day. I don't know if they're laying somewhere else or if they just stop laying. I mean, they're young enough, they shouldn't stop laying unless they're molting and, well, guess how many eggs we got. One. Two, three. You ladies need to do a better job at laying eggs. I don't know what's going on. For a while we were getting eight, nine eggs a day and I don't know if they're laying somewhere else. I don't know what's going on. We blocked off underneath the kitchen so that they couldn't lay under there anymore. And I don't know what's going on. Just not getting any eggs now. But I want to thank you all for joining me. If you try out making the Tabasco sauce, let me know how it goes for you. 
Eddie loved the first batch that I made, so I'm happy with the recipe. Now you really have to be careful about doing it inside with no airflow. You need to open your windows, open your door, put on a fan, something. It does get very, very strong and it can burn your throat and your nostrils. And you really don't want little kids standing around when you're doing it. So thanks for joining us today and we will see you next time.